No more delay. Your ordained spouse is coming and suddenly says the Lord. Hello and welcome back. My name is Prophetess Darice with Darice Jordan Ministries. And today's prophetic word is coming from a dream that I had this morning. morning. In this dream, um, I saw this ordained husband deeply pondering um, to be with his ordained wife. Um, and suddenly he came to her location and he called her up. And he told her to get dressed, that he was going to pick her up. And the ordained wife was surprised. That was the end of the dream. And so how the Lord broke it down to me was like this. There may be distance between you and your ordained spouse right now. But even the distance won't stop you and your ordained spouse for being together. From being together now and forevermore. The ordained husband in the dream desired to be with his ordained wife deeply. And, and what God is saying, your ordained spouse is desiring to be with you. In fact, his desire to be with you is increasing. It's increasing. God says your ordained spouse is having an increase of desire to be with you. His, his desire to be with you is growing rapidly. It's growing rapidly. It's a very, very heavy desire that he's having to be with you. Um, so this distance is not only... Um, not going to stop you and your ordained spouse from being together again now and forevermore, but it's also causing your ordained spouse to uh, to have a heavy desire to be with you. It's causing him his desire to increase for you. And God wants you to know that your ordained spouse is coming quickly, it's coming suddenly. This word is for someone. Your ordained, your ordained spouse is coming and coming suddenly. It's coming suddenly, says the Lord. With a heavy desire to love on you and to have this new beginning with you. God says he's working behind the scenes on your behalf. And um, he's working on, he's working behind the scenes on, on your behalf to bring this kingdom marriage together to confound the wise and he says to remember to take this time to work on you and to be expecting god's promises to be fulfilled amen because god's sovereign breakthrough is happening now says the lord and then he let me to um, Ezekiel 12 verse 28 and it says therefore say to them this is what the sovereign Lord says none of my words will be delayed any longer hallelujah whatever I say will be fulfilled declares the sovereign Lord now God says to stand on that word and be encouraged no more delay and that your ordained spouse is coming and he's coming suddenly i also noticed at the very end of the dream the ordained wife um, was very surprised when she got that phone call and When she got that, that, that phone call, I noticed she was very, um, although she was surprised, she seemed very well rested. She seemed very, very well rested and she seemed very at peace. She had a lot of peace and she was very well rested. 
And I believe that was very significant because God wants you to be encouraged that this battle is not yours. It's the Lord's, you know, and he wants you to rest in the Lord like this ordained wife in this dream. She was resting in the Lord, although she was surprised that her her, her or ordained spouse suddenly came um, and called her and they were ready to start a, um, a new beginning together. She was also well rested and at peace. And so God wants you to be encouraged not to let your hearts be troubled, you know, be anxious for nothing and pray for everything, you know, cast your concerns to God and trust God at his word. Amen. You know, trust that God is also a sovereign God and he is setting things up, you know, for your, your, for your um, success and he just wants you to um, work on you and he wants you to be at rest and be at peace knowing that God's word is working for your good. Amen. Even Ruth wasn't um, worrying or so troubled about having her spouse you know, um, right away or, or just worrying about a spouse period. She was in the field working and Boaz, you know, Boaz um, came to her. Boaz noticed her. Boaz was impressed with Ruth of how Ruth was carrying herself. Ruth was focused on what God called her to do. What did God call you to do? Get focused on what God called you to do until God sends your Boaz. Amen? So be encouraged tonight that God is so much excited to um, bring this whole love story of yours together. Amen? And God just wants you to be encouraged tonight to... Um, receive this prophetic word that there's no more delay and that your ordained spouse is coming suddenly in jesus name god bless you and i just want to decree and declare that the peace of god be upon you and that um that god will continue to stir up your faith to to um trust him lean not on your own understanding and to and to give you the faith to 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 give you the um faith to believe that you are worthy of the promises of god you know and god is sure enough going to fulfill his promise so while you're doing your part and working on you and focusing on what god called you to do and you are resting and trusting in the Lord to fight your battles. And you are resting and trusting in the Lord to bring your love story together. You know, suddenly it's going to manifest in Jesus' name. God bless you. And may you have a blessed, blessed, blessed day in the Lord in Jesus' name. And I will see you next time with another prophetic video. God bless. Peace.